My go-to dance move, anything with my hips, I feel like it's like fun to do. Like sometimes I'll look back and I'll be like, it felt better than it looked, but it's very fun to do. Feels like sexy. Camila Cabello is dancing her way hips first onto the newly released Just Dance 2022. The latest installment of the number one music video game franchise features Camila's newest single, Don't Go Yet. You know, I knew obviously like when my collaborators and I wrote the song that it was like such a, you know, party like good time song, but I didn't realize until I played the game that I was like, oh, it's like so perfect for, you know, for dancing with your friends and uh, just made me want to play Just Dance. And dance she did. Camilla surprised a group of fans playing the game and the reactions were priceless. Don't go yet. Oh, hey. <laughs> <laughs> it was so cute. They were just so sweet and, you know, kind of being able to be a fly on the wall when they came in and they were so nervous and so excited and had no idea, like, that I was back there watching them and then seeing their reactions uh, when I came out was super fun. One of the girls, Violet, when she saw me was just so like emotional and just like made me emotional because I think that that love that somebody can feel for you, even if they haven't met you, that's like something that's really beautiful. There's this sense of, I think like protectiveness that goes both ways and uh, really like deeply caring for each other as people. Camilla is inviting her fans to join her in a dance challenge this weekend on TikTok using the hashtag Just Dance with Camilla. The sound behind Don't Go Yet is heavily Latin inspired and Camilla says it's one of several major music influences she had when she was young. Growing up I listened to a lot of, my family listened to a lot of Latin music, so a lot of um, salsa, a lot of Celia Cruz, La Vida es un Carnaval, a lot of Latin songs basically. Actually my first memories of dancing are, you know, I was watching like High School Musical and Cheetah Girls and just like group ensemble moments, like trying to learn the dance. I remember, you know, trying to learn like the Soldier Boy and the Dougie and like, it's such a bonding thing for, for people, like to be able to dance together is like so connecting. Speaking of connecting, Camilla shared her favorite person to dance with, but the answer might surprise you. My favorite person to dance with is my grandma because she's a really good dancer. And anytime a salsa song comes on, like I feel like she just like literally is a star. <laughs> she just like owns it. I honestly bet if my choreographers saw my grandma dance, they'd be like, damn, she's got some serious like sauce. 2021 has been a busy year for Camilla with a movie, new music, and magazine covers. The singer says it's been necessary to make time for herself. I definitely feel like I prioritize um, like having moments to myself and to decompress. I definitely feel like self-care, like solo decompression time is like important where you don't have to like talk to anybody. Camilla is also sharing deets on her upcoming album Familia and the inspiration behind it. This album to me means like community. I guess the opposite of you on your own. It's more you with other people and like sharing in that like joy and success, whatever that means, but just like interdependence, realizing how important everybody is like in your life. A lot of it is inspired by just like, you know, my relationships, my relationships with my family, my relationships to my friends, my relationships to my partner. Like it's all about just connections with other people, hence. Familia. For more entertainment coverage, keep watching the Hollywood Reporter News.